And the keys for the nuts. These always remain in my possession except in cases of extreme nut emergency. You need at least level three clearance to even touch these keys. What level am I? Level zero. <laughs> I'm level minus nine. Well done. Only in the event of my death will you be called upon to unlock the nuts. You can unlock my nuts any time you like, darling. <laughs> Nice one, Terry! Yeah, so he is, of course, using nuts as a slang term for testicles. Look at that face! It's a picture! <laughs> That's not funny. It doesn't make any sense. In what sense can I unlock your testicles? Well, um... <laughs> Shit! Anyway, the joke's on you, cos I don't even fancy her and I wouldn't touch with a barge pot. Ah, oh, that's a shame, cos I really love being touched with barge poles by unattractive, flatulent men. It's the only way I can get turned on. Bad luck, darling, cos you're not getting a sniff of my barge pole. You know, Connie, I'm so glad you agreed to take the job that Steve offered you. Always pleased to help. Yeah, well, her wages are coming out your wages. Yeah, well, I didn't want to, but my only other offer was from the latest KFC ripoff place on the high street. Kentucky's Fried Chicken, like it's owned by a guy called Kentucky. I mean, how stupid do they think we are? Of course it's owned by Kentucky. Haven't you seen the advert? <laughs> I'm Kentucky. I've gone clucky crazy, Picard. <laughs> It's a cartoon. It's a cartoon representation of Kentucky, who's a very shy man. A very shy half-man, half-chicken. So what if he's differently abled? They're all winners. It's always been one of my dreams to work for the captain. Swat. You see? It's going really well. She's a lovely girl. So young, so pure, so perfect. But she's a bloody student! Why? <laughs> so pure. I want to, but I can't. <laughs> Black <them> up. <laughs> Who are you talking to? <clears throat> OK, well, I'll work here today and then see how it suits me. See how it suits you? I think that's everything. Do you think you'll be right, girl? 21, not a girl. <clears throat> Back off, Brussels! <laughs> Do you think you'll be right, woman? I think I can cope. I have got four A-levels. Yeah, well, that just goes to show that exams are too easy these days. When I was a kid, I took O-levels. Not GCSEs. Proper, hard O-levels from when it meant something. From when you could fail exams. And how many O-levels did you get? Well, none. But I failed them all. But that just proves my point, doesn't it? Yeah. Anyway, wash up the glasses, love. Well, can't Steve do it? No, I've got a broken foot. And that stops you from washing up, how? You can't wash up, darling. Washing up's woman's work. It's the way things are. <laughs> That's why women's things are smaller so they can fit inside the champagne field. <laughs> Men do not wash up. Never. <laughs> That's not true. I did anthropology last term. So if we locked you up in a trunk and flung you underwater, you'd be able to get out? <laughs> no. Anthropology is the study of man. Yeah, of man, you know, it's not of woman. <laughs> of man as a species, and just because women did the washing up when you were a child during the war, it doesn't... Hey, look, women have always washed up. They always have, even before there was stuff to wash up. I mean, that's why women live longer than men, isn't it? So there's someone to wash up the teacups at our funerals. <laughs> Never work for me. When will I die? <laughs> have you even read The Female Eunuch? The what? It is a book by the Antipodean feminist Jermaine Greer. Oi, prof! No Germans, not in this gaff. She's Australian. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> oh, no. Are you talking about the female Unutch? <laughs> yes, I suppose I am. My mum had that. It was fantastic. What? So you've read it, have you? Don't be stupid. <laughs> Yeah, a fantastic cover of a woman with no head and a bosom showing. Oh, <laughs> sounds blinding. No head, you say? Uh, I mean, uh, bosom's showing. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Really, am I the only one here who has actually read The Female Eunuch? Uh, uh, is it on video? Because I saw something called something like that with this Roman slave girl and a pig. No, Terry! <laughs> So pure, both of them. I've seen more hardcore porn than you've had hot dinners. No, you haven't! <laughs> Only because the gov never got a carvery. Oi! Like a 
I said if there isn't a barge pole involved, then I'm not interested. Stop it! It's so pure. <laughs> now do the washing up! No, why can't you do it? Why? Because with my barman's hand, <laughs> I can't do anything bar related at all. <laughs> look at me. Don't look at me! Well, how did he get the key to the nuts in the first place, Mike? He only has level one clearance. Oh, God, it's Miss Jackson. I don't want her to find out about my affliction. Yeah, well, that's your problem, not mine. Goodbye. Hello! Hello! Oh, I've missed that. Hi, Rose. How's it hanging? I'll show you if you like, yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. Is this a new barmaid I see before me? Uh, yes. Uh, Ms. Jackson from the brewery. Cow, meet Connie, our new barman. <laughs> bloody student! Connie, bloody student, meet Ms. Jackson from the brewery. Cow! <laughs> Gosh, aren't you a fresh-faced young thing? I've got knickers older than you. <laughs> are you 18? <laughs> I'm 21. <laughs> Why? How old are you? <laughs> How's little Campari? Oh, he's doing fine. <laughs> Very lucky to have Barry at home looking after him during the day. Though he hasn't quite got the hang of changing nappies yet. Think, Barry, think. Oh, no, no, this can't be right. <laughs> so, Connie, how are you fitting in? Like a square peg into a round hole. I'll put my square peg in your round hole if you're lucky. <laughs> you have square genitals, do you? Yeah. <laughs> no. Listen to the question. The words in it. Do you have square genitals? Uh, no. To be honest with you, Miss Jackson, I can't see her lasting long. She keeps going on about the female oonch or something. It's the female oonuch. How many times? Oh, the female eunuch. Oh, that book is mega. Fantastic cover, isn't it? Sisters are doing it for themselves. Do you remember that song? No. <laughs> A bit before your time. <laughs> Still, it's top to have another feminist on board. Not like the last barmaid who worked here. Slag! <laughs> so, um, what did you think about the chapter on pornography? Oh, well, um, I, um... I, I didn't read it all. <laughs> no, I'm just skimming! You don't know how hard it is how to write fires is a term! <laughs> Anywho... <laughs> The decorators have nearly finished outside, so it's almost time for the internal refit. I'll give you an internal refit. I know it don't make sense! No, I, I don't want them in here. Why not? Well, they're Irish, aren't they? And what's wrong with that? I love the Irish. I went to Dublin for a weekend last time, and those accents are so sexy. Will you go out with me, please? <laughs> The accent of the former Yugoslavia does nothing for me. Listen, girl, woman. Look, if you let those Irish decorators in here, there'll be a bicycle in that window before you can say the Great Potato Famine of 1845. Don't have a cow, man. <laughs> Eat my shorts. Hi, <laughs> <Ay>, caramba. <laughs> um, actually, girl, I've got... <laughs> I've got a bit of an embarrassing problem. Oh, well, you know, tell us more, babes. You know what I mean? We can sort you out. The, um, the decorators are coming to repaint the sign, and, um... I don't know the name of the pub. You what? Sorry. You don't know the name of the pub? You call yourself a brewery rep and you don't know the name of one of the pubs you rep? You make me sick! <laughs> it's just everybody at the brewery always calls it the pub by the chemical works. No one of us... It's written on the side of the pub, woman! God, dear idea. Oh let's go outside and show Ms Jackson the name of the pub. Come on, be good for that. Come on, Em. Let's have a look. Come on. There you go. I'm sorry, I can't read it. Oh, dearie, dearie. Me? Connie, tell Ms Jackson what it says. Legible. Oh, four A levels that she can't even read. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, you've had your fun in likeness. What does it say? <laughs> well, all right, it is a bit weather beaten. Granted. But, yeah, you two with your college degrees and your education, you haven't thought to do the obvious thing, have you? What? Look at the bloody sign. Come on. I don't know, it could be anything. 
You don't know the name of your own pub. Call yourself a landlord. Shut it! You've never pulled a pint in your life. Oh, well, you're so good at that, aren't you? <laughs> Go wash your glasses. Look, everyone's always called it the pub by the chemical works. I've got it. It's obvious. Look, there's his face and there's his tail. It's the Kentucky. No, it isn't. <laughs> seen that advert? I must be clucking crazy! Ah! <laughs> he doesn't do it like that. You are clucking useless. Ah! <laughs> Here's your work, lads. Thank you. Any chance of a drink? I feel like a dad thirst in here. Oh, God, that accent. Baby, you can have anything you want. Um, tell you what, why don't I have three pints to begin with, eh, girl? Mm. Oh, don't call it girl. No, you're all right. Shut up. Oi, don't serve me, Connie. Get back to work, you work shy bog trotters. <laughs> we can't, not till we know the name. Mind you, we could always make our own name up. What about the Irishman's arms, eh? No. <laughs> What's about Irish lads? What do you reckon? Round the eyes? Right. Right. No, he doesn't, Charlie! <laughs> Suppose we want an old bicycle in the window as well, eh? No, <laughs> no Just pour them in a drink, will you? <laughs> Connie, you do it! What about the washing up? Shut it! Look at his hat. It's the gay hazard. No, it isn't. <laughs> this pub was never confused. No, I can't wait forever. Either you remember the name of the pub or I'm just going to have to make one up. Something, um, 21st century, like the parallelogram. <laughs> or the groovy snail. Or the, um, or the Barbarella. Do you remember that film? No. <laughs> You've got till the end of the day. God, what's going on? Oh, I'm not drinking out of that. Sorry, everything else is dirty. Do the washing up, then! Bloody student! Oh, so pure! <laughs> Another pint when you're ready. <laughs> Another pint, please. <laughs> I'm really getting through it today. <laughs> By the chemical works. Pumped by the chemical works. Pumped by the chemical works. Oh, it's not nowhere here. God, oh, I don't want this place called the Funky Slug. I just want to apologise. What for? For what our country has done to yours, it is terrible. I don't blame you personally, it's all right. Well, I'll never understand you, stupid paddies. <laughs> Why do you hate us Brits so much? Because you stole all our land and allowed our people to starve to death. Oh, God, I love that accent. Oh, Uncle Barry? Yeah, it's me. Yeah, how's the little one? No, 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 I mean the baby. <laughs> Look, this is rather embarrassing. Um, what's the name of my pub? It's a pub by the chemical works, isn't it? No? Well, I don't know, then. I, I can't chat, I'm in the middle of something. Now, come on, Tiddler. Let's have another go, shall we? No, no, no. Don't worry, it could happen to anyone. The library was of no value. A waste of my precious fucking time. In all of the records that I could identify, all the way back to the 1600s, this pub is simply referred to as the pub by the chemical works. Uh, there is a good side, though. I did manage to pick up these. The female who nut. Buzz on over here, Steve. This is terrible. Just goes to show you, you can't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> yeah, but when you got a cover this good, who cares? <laughs> hey, Prof. Uh, oh, yes, I love looking at pictures of females' mammary glands. A woman like that would be no good to me. No mouth. All right, that's it. <laughs> I'm not having this rubbish in my gaff. Give it here. Right. <laughs> Two years. Long time. <laughs> right, listen, OK? I don't mind taking my turn at doing the washing up so long as you two do your share as well. So, I've drawn up a rotor we've got one at the student union for kitchen duty. Right, when you've done the washing up, you place a little green token next to your name. And if you do toilet cleaning duty, then you get a little yellow circle that's got a face on it. Ah! OK. <laughs> 
Oh, now, if you do either of these out of turn, then you get like a pink cakey thing, and you get to put that against your name too. It's kind of like a like a joker. I. Now, <laughs> once you've accumulated seven green tokens, three yellow tokens, and two pink tokens, you get to replace it with a purple rhomboid. And this means that you can defer your washing up duty to next month. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, now I've drawn up another rater for who makes the new raters, I... and another rater for whose turn it is to buy the tokens, and another... That's enough! <laughs> I have got a much simpler system. Yeah, you do the washing up! <laughs> Do you know what? I'd be more angry with you if I didn't feel so sorry for you. I quit. No! No, you can't quit! Get back behind that bar! Oi! 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 Oi, slaps! Oh. <laughs> Greg Thompson, what an unexpected plaisir. Those are the women I'm gonna marry! <laughs> Alright, Slobby Chops, this is um Monique. And this. Fixin. Boys, before I'd let you know, we've opened up a new exotic dancing bar up at the Queen of Arts. These two lovely ladies have been sliding up and down my grease pole all evening. <laughs> It's the longest pole I've ever seen. I'm implying I've got a massive cock. <laughs> I've got a barge pole you can dance round if you like, and I don't mean you, Connie. <laughs> Connie? What are you doing here, darling? She works here. No, I don't! <laughs> ever since you left the Queen of Arts, there's been an empty Connie-shaped space behind the bar. I need you. I love you. <laughs> You're the only woman I have ever loved. Yeah, clearly. These two mean nothing to me. Come back and work for me, darling. <laughs> what, as a lap dancer? I don't think so. No, she's too young and pure for that sort of thing. No, it's just that I did lap dancing last term. What, a college? <laughs> well, you can study anything these days. <laughs> no, up in town, you know, the purple curtains. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> You didn't! I thought I recognised you. Oh, Sally! Oh, my God, and Isabel! You know them? Yeah, they were in my entomology class last term. How could highly educated women like you do such a job? Have you never read the female Ewok? <laughs> I skimmed it. Four essays a term, you know. Yeah, I know. Besides, I've got no choice. I've got my student loan to pay off. The only other job I could find was at bloody Kentucky's. What, and you turned it down? You must be clocking crazy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Actually, the rates at the Purple Curtains have gone up. I'm sure they take you back. And it's got to be less humiliating than working for that fat-headed wanker. <laughs> <laughs> My head is not fat! <laughs> and I'm not a wanker. <laughs> yeah, all right. Cheers, yeah. Think about it. No, you don't. No girlfriend of mine is working as a lap dancer. It's a job fit for filthy sluts and horse. <laughs> no offence, girls. <laughs> anyway, we better get back to the grind, don't you know what I mean? Kaboom! Oh, Greg, you've got such a wonderfully balanced view of the female sex. Don't I know it? <laughs> I was employing irony. I would employ her, don't I? A black girl. <laughs> no, that's Ebony. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, that. That is fantastic. I'd not looked at it that way before. <laughs> oh, ah, bloody feminist rubbish. <laughs> so, come back with your tail between your legs, have you? There's the washing up. Get on with it, love. No, I'm going now. I've come for my wages. Mm, all right. Well, you only work two hours. Here you go. One quid. <laughs> Get your change. <laughs> well, go on then. Go. Leave. Piss off. Go on, just go. Why don't you? They all leave me. I'm so alone. Look at me. <laughs> A publican who can't serve in a pub with no name. Oh, God. Kick me while I'm down, why don't you? Oh, why <laughs> Look, um, you know, oh, you, you know, I'm sure things will work out for you. You're a, a good man. Really? No, it was just really embarrassing seeing you cry and I wanted to make it stop. Oh, you know, that's the nicest thing any woman's ever done for me. <sighs> You're going to go back to lap dancing then? Yeah, I think so. Oh, please don't. You're so young. You're so pure. I mean, the thought of you in the all together, gyrating. <laughs> naked. Oh, naked gyrating. <laughs> As old men stuff. Oh, 
fivers into your knickers. <laughs> you gyrate. <clears throat> they, they stare at your gyrations. <laughs> oh, it's fast. It's, mm, it's disgusting. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, please don't go. Give me one more chance. I'm begging of you, love. Please, please. I'll do anything, anything. Will you do the washing up? Arseholes, I walked right into that, wouldn't you? <laughs> All right, we'll institute your ridiculous rotor system. All right. You bloody student. Not in my gaff! <laughs> You're beautiful. One more chance. Oh, that's brilliant. Connie, I like your hair. <laughs> Thing is, though, we've got to come up with a name for this pub. Miss Jackson will be here any minute. Oh, the cow, the bloody cow. You know, I wish someone would chop her head off. Wait a minute, that's it. The cow's head! <laughs> Connie, you're brilliant! The cow's head. There you go. Give that to those spud guzzling decorators. <laughs> I'm going to paint up a new sign. I can't wait to see Miss Jackson's face. <laughs> oh, Miss Jackson. Yeah, what do you think of that then, eh? I love it, Governor. It's mega. Hey? Just the thing to attract a hip young crowd with its ironic rustic overtones. You what? The cow shed. It's very naughty. <laughs> God, you stupid Irish kid. That isn't what I gave you. Yes, it is. Thank you, oh. <laughs> Perfect. Right, lads, we're off. Uh, hold on, you can't go. But don't worry, we'll be back next week to decorate the inside. Don't forget those bicycles now, lads. Uh, well, I mean, if you're coming back, then maybe it's worth giving this job another week. Yeah, for sure. I'm not opposed to the arguing in with the English enough. Get off, you bastard! Hold on! Oh, hold on! Hold on! What about my sign? None of you know it's my sign! Yeah, come on in. It's her face! Oh, shut up! <laughs> Barge pole or are you just pleased to see me? It's a barge pole and I'm not pleased to see you. You repulse me. I'm not going to touch you with it. I'm teasing you. Terry, when I said that I could only get turned on by being touched with a barge pole, I didn't mean it. I was being facetious. That's posh for gagging for it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn these useless hands! <laughs> Why? Why? Look at me! Don't look at me! Look at me! Don't look at me! Look at me! Don't look at me! Look at me! Don't look at me. <laughs>